But the first one is the stamp duty increase on anything, any purchase above $2 million. So at the moment, if you purchase for $2 million, it's $110,000 in stamp duty. So that's a big hit on top of your $2 million. Um, what that will be now moving forward is on top of that 110, it'll be another six and a half percent of the value above two million dollars. So the thing I want to talk about there is two million dollars sounds like a lot of money, but if you want to be within 20 k's of the Melbourne CBD and you're a young growing family and you want a little bit of grass for your kids to run around in, you don't get much change out of two million dollars. Um, even if you've pushed further out, you're looking at sort of $1.5 million for maybe 30 Ks, 35 Ks out of Melbourne. So what is the definition of an expensive property at the moment? And when you look at the median house price of Melbourne, just hitting a million dollars, that's the medium house price. So that includes everything. But most young families now that we see are pushing up towards that $2 million mark. So it just, you know, again, what is the definition of wealthy? Um, land tax. So... 0.25% 0.25% increase um, on an individual's land tax uh, if they have a value of property above 1.8 million and a 0.3% increase if they have a value of um, 3 million. Now, most investors, one or two properties, they're going to have values at 1.8 million. Three properties, they might have values of 3 million or a little bit more. Now, that that's not the wealthy. That's mum and dad investors. And in our business, most of those um, most of those investors will be leveraged. So they might have one point eight million dollars worth of property, but they might have one point four million dollars worth of debt. So you know, there's four hundred worth of um, net net equity in there. Are they wealthy? I'm not sure they're wealthy. They're just trying to get ahead and just pro- trying to provide you know a legacy for their for their kids. So again, it doesn't it, it doesn't hit the wealthy. It help it hits everyday Australians. The last one which um, which I want to talk about is developer tax. So developers will now get a 50% tax um, for any rezoning windfalls above half a million. So that's if you change a, a land zoning from uh, well, basically not being able to develop, to develop but being able to develop. Um, so developers in the past, I know some developers, I've worked with developers, continuously getting hit with more fees. Mm. Council all along the way, fee, 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 fee. And it's all, I'm not saying it's getting um, unprofitable for developers, but it's getting harder and harder. So if, you, if you're going to keep on putting costs yeah. to developers, what's going to happen? The, the, the consumer pays. The consumer they pays because, because the price time. goes up. So I just really don't understand the mindset. Um, again, we spoke about it earlier today, but understand the logistics, understand what the ramifications of what you are doing. Um, it's got to be better ways to do it because the end consumer gets hurt Mum and dad's trying to invest with land tax. Um, young families that want to spend $2 million on a property, more stamp duty. And first homeowners or, in, or, or, or investors that want to buy a new property or land, the price goes up because the, the developers are having their margin mm. squeezed. 